Hello, good morning, and welcome to another glorious day in Fallout 76. This is a build I've not actually seen before, at least I've not seen any videos on it. Or have I really looked? Hmm, good question. Right then, this is the launcher build. So, uh, I was testing a video, or doing a video last, which was on the three best launchers. And I hadn't really set myself up to best use those launchers. So, here's my launcher build I've been working on. Been using it for a few days now. Seems to work quite well. So, let's have a look. So, here are my cards. Now, with launchers, you don't need heavy gun cards or anything like that. So, in strength, I've got myself strong back, bare arms... Now, oddly enough, this actually does work with launchers. I have been testing it, and it, it does work. So, go figure on that one. Ballistic weapons ammo weighs 90% less. We'll have a look at that one in a bit. Ordnance Express. Explosives weigh 90% less. Uh, I'm going to be using rockets, mini nukes, cannonballs. Yes, yeah, so that's definitely going to be useful. And Blocker. Take 45% damage from your opponent's melee attacks. If you're a full health character, that one's pretty much just a throwaway card. You don't need that one. You can choose something else. Over in Perception, I have Grenadier. Uh, once again, these are launcher weapons, so they are explosive. And I have one slot left, so I can put in concentrated fire if necessary. Sometimes one of the daily tasks involves crippling a limb, so this one is necessary. Also, three is pretty much the minimum, because you can also unequip and put in your, put in your expert pit locks, etc. Or exterminate or glow sight. Just any number of the ones that are useful on the day-to-day -day and the dailies. Over in Endurance, we have Adamantian Skeleton. I do find with explosive weapons, especially if you do cop someone who's literally right next to you, you can end up crippling yourself. So Adamantian Skeleton just adds that extra layer of protection for that. Rad Resistance. I will be using the Fat Man in this one. And uh, yeah, <laughs> you're more liable to irradiate yourself more than anyone else. Fireproof, once again we are using explosive weapons and fireproof does mean you take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. Radical, uh, greater your adds, the greater your strength. Once again if you're a full health character, this one is a throwaway card, it's really only any use for the low health characters. Rejuvenated, you gain better benefits from being fully fed and fully hydrated. We'll show you what the effects of being fully hydrated and fully fed are in a bit. But this car just makes them better. Inspirational. Uh, I am trying to get up to a level 150. So I am doing all those dailies. And I am blowing up super mutants and the high-end enemies to try and get as much XP as possible. Bodyguards. Uh, I always play in a team. So why not have a little bit of extra resistance to damage and energy? Can't help. Can't, can't help. Can't do any bad. Uh, strange in numbers. Positive mutation effects are 25% stronger. Uh, I've pretty much got a whole load of mutations. We'll have a look at those in a bit. Might as well make the positive effects stronger. Uh, suppressor. This one reduces your target's damage by 30% for 2 seconds after you attack. And then the opposite of that one, Tenderizer. Make your targets receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over here, if I do happen to be carrying a flamethrower uh, on events that involve keeping NPCs alive, such as, but not restricted to, uh, test your metal or the radiation rumble. If you've got a flamethrower on you, that card is most useful for keeping them alive. Over intelligence, Nerd Rage. Once again, if you're a full health character, that's a throwaway card, don't need that one. 
demo expert I'm using explosive weapons battery included I'm carrying a lot of energy stuff especially a lot of cores that just it keeps your carry weight down gunsmith explosive weapons especially two shot tend to uh, expire quicker so gunsmith is a necessary card on that you can swap out any of these cards for something you find more useful if you wish Gung Fu uh, one of the launchers I'm using the uh, grand finale that does tend to be a one-shot killer so it's nice to have Gung Fu because each time it swaps in vats it makes well as you read there vat swaps on targets kill with plus 10 plus 30 and plus 60 on your next three targets and I do happen to have a three shot grand finale so that helps adrenaline also as you kill stuff the next kill and the next kill will ramp up your damage up to 60% as you see there dodgy avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit this is good for all builds but especially good for the low health builds if you are don't have quite so many uh, legendary perks uh, you can load out with cards there you don't need that one if you are full health bloody mess 15 percent bonus damage means enemies may explode into a gory red paste better criticals uh, i do use the grand finale with criticals so better criticals Serendipity, whilst below 30% health, gain a 40% chance to avoid damage. If you're not a low health character, that's another swap out or throwaway card. Class Freak, the negative effects of your mutations are reduced by 75%. That goes nicely with strange in numbers. Starch Genes, that basically fix, fixes you so you can't get any more mutations from radiation and if you do take a shower or any anti-reds it doesn't remove your mutations and then someone is sharing luck of the draw so that's actually quite good chance your weapons will repair itself on hitting an enemy yeah, can't say that's bad on my uh, th swap out cards depending on what i'm doing critical savvy so if i am going to be using uh, my criticals a lot it's good to have better criticals and critical savvy that way you're not using your entire meter one gun army that's good if you are on a mission where you have to cripple a limb or you want the scorch beast beach the scorch beast queen to land ricochet I put that one if I'm carrying a vampire's weapon because as they shoot me, their bullets ricochet back, hit them, and then that heals me. Super duper, just good card to have if you are crafting anything that does indeed proc the super duper card. Let's have a look at my specials. So I've maxed out one, two, three, four, five cards to get me more slots uh, electrical absorption it's a good one whilst you are in armor uh, it will recharge your core and has a chance to heal you as well i do swap this out depending on which mission i'm on let's have a look which ones i swap out for one of the ones i do swap out for is funky duds if you are going into one of the missions where when the enemies die they drop poison everywhere funky duds is a good one to have master infiltrator i haven't maxed this one out yet but very good if you are going to do a silo run power armor reboot good to have if you are on one of the missions where the enemies have armor ignoring bullets and they pretty much one shot you if you're in your power armor yeah, you have a chance of coming back sizzling style if you're taking on earl the roof will rain down burning embers on you if you wish to be fireproof stick that one on and that's pretty much it for that and then the legendaries let's have a look at what uh, i've got over here on mutations 
So adrenal reaction, that's good for a low health character, bird bones, full speed, so you don't do power landings every time you land in power armor. And if you've got a jetpack on and you do jump from a high distance, you don't instant die when you land. Carnivore or herbivore, depending on your choice of which procs or which boosts, sorry, and buffs you want from your chemicals and your food. Chameleon, not really important, but it doesn't have any problems having it. If you take off all your armor and all your clothes, uh, you will while stationary be invisible eagle eyes now that one is specifically good for the critical damage and as i said i do like crits electrically charged if someone hits you you shock them also affects you so beware on that one healing factor when you are out of battle you heal a lot quicker herd mentality if you are in a group and i said i do like being in a group at all times uh, you get plus three on your specials and you lose two if you're on, if you're not in a group. So always be in a group. Marsupial, your carry weight goes up and your jump height goes up. Another good reason to have bird bones. Played Walker doesn't really affect you, but if you do get any uh, diseases, you can have a poison aura. Doesn't really do anything. Never really noticed it. Scaly skin, uh, you are. Energy damage resistance and damage resistant resistant. <laughs> uh, UAP slows down a bit, but it's not really much of a problem, especially if you're drinking company tea. And speed demon, your hunger and thirst uh, go uh, usage go through the roof, but just have perfect gum on you that feeds you fills you for an hour, irregardless of speed demon negative effects plus we've got the card to uh, reduce negative effects so it doesn't really affect you too much uh your reload speed and your movement speed goes up 25 percent. it's not exactly a massive one but if you don't have speed demon you will notice your reloads are painfully slow and then if we just quickly pop back to the cards uh, for our special loads out as you see strength i've got on 14 perception on three endurance 11 Charisma 13, Intelligence 15, Agility 11, and Luck is... can't read that because of where the recording button is. If I just flatten that down. Luck's on 14. Okay, that's everything covered. Now let's have a look at today's weapons. And in about three minutes... Uh, well, you'll see. In about three minutes the uh, next event will happen and we'll play around with our weapons in the next event it's the mothman one just in case you don't recognize where i am so today's weapons we're going to be playing around with i've got a whole bunch of legendaries so the bloodied thirst zapper that is from let's bring up the map over here do all the events around here and you can buy the thirst zapper with your credit for the theme park from doing the missions in this area what's it called what's it called got it written down so excuse me while i quickly have a look at my notes uh seismic activity yeah when you do the seismic activity or uh any of the other nuka world events uh spin the wheel yep you get points to spend in the nuka cade buy yourself the plans for the nuka zapper then we have the grand finale oddly enough an award also from doing eviction notice uh, we've got a two-shot nuke launcher, or it's a two-shot grenade launcher, faster fire rate. Uh, we've got the overkill. That comes from doing the mutated events. It's in one of the mutated packages. And we've got the two-shot boomstick, also from a mutated package from doing a mutated event. The overkill is basically a two-shot fat man with 90% weight reduction and the boomstick is a four shot uh 
canister and it's legendary is two shots and it's also a 90 percent both are also 25 percent whilst aiming so we have one two three four five weapons to play with we are just going to wait for the mothman to start but just to give you an idea if you have not had a grand finale it is basically a broadsider it's a two-shot broadsider with the added extra bonus of fireworks gotta love those are explosive fireworks and the explosive range is really good okay i think we've got about 30 seconds for the mothman event to start so let's get ourselves in permission permission into position oh it's done that weird ass thing where the sky goes black just before the graphics catches up with itself and there you go i've crossed over into mothman territory it's 11:59 few more seconds and it should start though we've actually got to wait for someone to turn up and actually talk to him or do it myself Gather there you go mothman I equinox you are I entering thank you very much just gonna have a quick drink now sorry for slurping noises oh someone has just joined a level seven have you noticed now all the low level players that's plenty plenty let's see how many of them make it up to uh, what was it I saw a player yesterday level 6,000 it's like whoa my highest character is just below I think the 900 mark and I've been playing for a long time so to get to 6,000, geez, that must be a day one character. Okay, while no one else is around, let's show you what the other weapons can do. So we've shown you the explosive effect of the two shot round finale. The nuclear launcher, that's basically just a uh, That's just rain down the destruction. Two shot overkill. That is a fat man's. And this one launches double. Nice. Just be careful not to get caught in your own blast. Two shot boomstick. I think I've accidentally just dropped it. Two shot bloom boomstick. So this is a four, that's uh, a two shot with four rockets. Uh, it's also got a targeting computer as well. Can't really demo that one, but hey, let's shoot off. There you go, two missiles. And they'll just go off to infinity and gone. Brilliant for taking down Scorchies. You just lock on. And then let go with the four rockets one at a time. And of course, each rocket shooting sets off two, two explosions. Ah, good, good. We first started this. Uh, let's bring up the grand finale and the nuclear launcher, which we're going to be using in this event. Hurry now, children. His patience does not run as deep as his wisdom. Okay, so first thing we need to do is get rid of those annoying vines. I find a flamethrower. Better forget rid of those. But I've not got a flamethrower on me. But a couple of shots on each one and there you are. Oh, I've got to destroy some totems. So even though this is a cannon, it's a uh, aim. It aims quite nicely. 
just gotta make sure you take the uh, the curve of the cannonball. It's not a dead straight shooting weapon. It is a shoot and drop weapon. What we gotta do? Cannon. Uh, Destroy totems, which we've started doing, and we've got to go find ourselves some, uh, well, some of these things. One shot kills, and this is without criticals. I like this particular area. Don't go hunting them, they just come to you. Look at how many we've got. I mean, that's five or six already. And then there's a drop-off point just here. Unless someone's already got it, there should be a totem up there. Yep, someone's already got that one. So if we hang around here, I'm quite sure some more white stags will turn up. Maybe not. Alright, let's go look for one of them. Annoying. Oh, there you go. I knew something would turn up. And as you see, each time... Oh, that one. Each time I shoot... Oh, that time didn't do it. But you usually get back more cannonballs than you shoot. Which you then, of course, feed into an ammo converter, and then that will give you enough ammo in your converter to fill up with rockets and mini nukes. There you go, that will fill up the uh, trough nicely. So we've got to pick up, destroy a couple of more totems. Those two are gone. Seven more totems to seven more, three more totems to go. There's one. Let's see if I can get that one from down here. Ooh, just got to get that drop worked out. A bit more. There you go. Ah, typical. Boom! Direct hit. Right. That's all the totems hit. Uh, looks like we've got to kill a couple of more profits. There's one 34 away. If ever you want to collect any junk or any specific junk, pop into this town. There's shops and junk everywhere. Oh God. Boom, boom. Prophet dead. Right, let's go light the fires. Oh, God, I've been chased by Two-headed white deer. Ah. Where did that one come from? There we go. Gosh. Nobody does want to say hello. Right in, so now we need. Oh, we've got a couple of more fires that no one's lit. Let's go like the one at the church. Is this the fastest oh, route? Yeah. Oh no, someone's done it. Okay, now we need to. However brief it may be. Breathe, children! Breathe! Let's go defend the church. Right, let's see how well this does. As you see, the cannon is very uh, accurate, shall we say? There's enough people over here. I'll hang around a church for uh, the next few seconds. There's plenty enough players in here to. Uh, Protect us even 
flinching at the players in Ether Guard. So as you see, I only shot a few. And that's a lot of cannonballs. Okay, let's run to where I normally defend from. Oh, am I going to make it? Am I? Oh, there you go. Okay. Right up over here. Right, uh, let's get myself some. The joy of one sh There we go. Boom. All dead. Ah, hello. Right. Stick myself on the bench. So uh, this is, if you want to use the nuclear launcher instead, yeah, <laughs> it deals with them quite nicely. I like the nuclear launcher, it sort of long range, rain down the hill, and of course, the cannon basically Acts more like a shotgun. So let's have a look. Don't kill myself. Yeah, let's go back to the cannon. Yeah, does the job, doesn't it? The uh, Mothman. Nomadic Moth takes on the Moth. Oh, I'm overweight now. So be careful. Jeez, I almost whacked myself then. And, uh, I thought that was someone close up. There you go, and that's all done. And I'm too heavy to run. Ooh, nice, thank you for leaving that one behind. There's another one. Let's see what we're going to get. Yeesh. Do not expel bile from your gut, it's disgusting. Okay, we didn't quite make it up on top of the roof. If you do make it up to the roof, make sure. Let's just get up there. Can't run him overweight. Yeah, if you get a Mothman, walk up to the Mothman and have a chat. You will then be enlightened in the presence of the Mothman. And that will give you effects. Where is it? Wisdom of the Mothman, bonus XP 15%. And I've got canned meat stew, bonus XP 13%. And back to this card here, which is rejuvenated. So that gains you better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Let's just get out of the way of that machine. Okay, that's a bit 
more quiet over here. So let's have a look. So fully fed, max HP is 45%, your strength is 1, and your disease resistance is 45. And AP regen, uh, if you're, let's have a quick drinky. I'm bound to have picked up some water. There you go, pure water. So I'm fully hydrated now. Let's have a look what that did for us. Fully hydrated, endurance plus one, AP regen 45, and disease resistance. So by being fully hydrated and fully fed with that card on, your AP regen goes to the roof as well. Okay, I have been Nomadic Moth. We have done uh, the Mothman Equinox with launchers. Ah, fireworks. Got to love them. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you watch the next one. Please click the... Uh, hello? The Big Nep. Yeah. Please subscribe if you want any more of these. And, of course, please click the like button. Uh, just lets me know I'm doing the right videos that people actually want to watch. Thank you very much. I have, or my character has been Nomadic Moth. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.